Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Giant Machines 2017. That's right, it's from the future, folks. And it released, actually, on September 29th, 2016. And if you guys grab it before October 6th, 2016, you can get it for 20% off. It's by Code Horizon and Playway. And I haven't actually touched it yet, but I am ready to give it a first look. So, let's see what we're about to do with Giant Machines 2017, shall we? So, of course, it's every kid's dream, I guess, mostly boy. Is to extract the silicone so we can finish the work on the space shuttle. Unfortunately, our main machine has a, a small malfunction. Sounds like the sound effects are a little bit uh, off. My uh, settings need to be changed. The previous operator of the bucket wheel excavator was just fired. I sure hope you can do better. Use the Thug ZM toe to get closer to the field workshop. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do real quick is go into the options. Um, the opening menu screen was super loud, and turning down the radio, as you see, it's like super low. Didn't seem to affect anything, so I had to lower the overall volume. And now it seems too low. Alright, so, we must go do stuff. It might be too loud now, but we'll play around with the settings a little bit here and there, guys and gals. It will be fine. Oh, we get to drive around in a car thing! I don't know how to drive. How do I do that? Eh, huh. I guess we're not supposed to drive around in the car, but it says I can enter it. Start it. What do I hit that button right there? I want to drive. How do I do it? Oh, control, show stuff. Throttle, brakes, blah blah blah. Engine is X. Oh yeah, there we go. Release the handbrake. How do I do that? <laughs> Space bar. Uh, all right. Oh, we're, you know we're going to have to drive around here a little bit. Pull the handbrake. Yeah! Do we have any turbo on this bad boy? Probably not. I'm liking it. Digging it. Driving around doing silly, ridiculous things. It's cool. So we don't have any... Oh, we do have pedals. So why... Hmm. I don't understand the purpose of the thing on the dashboard going forward and back. Is that like my shifter? Hmm. Seems odd to me. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, rough terrain. Not our friend. Oh. No, sir. Alright, let's get to our mission objective, shall we? We don't have a limited amount of time for our first look video, so let's go and actually do some stuff instead of just having fun. But, you know, you gotta have fun when you play stuff, so keep that in mind. I have all the settings up on the highest. I don't know if that's a good idea, a bad idea, or what the case is, but... That's what we're rocking right now, so we're in the highest settings. Is there a way to have, like, super ultra mega... No? Let's turn our lights on. Mm. Alright, well. Time to go off-road here. Under this giant thing. And... We're almost the there. The broken wires lie on the tray next to the tank. Try to restore them using the workbench. Pick up the broken hydraulic hoses. Alright, alright. Maybe it would have been a good idea to not be moving. While trying to stop. Alright, uh, we should probably also pull the handbrake. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need to pick this stuff up. What do I do with it? Come over here with it? I gotta repair it. Yeah, look at me holding that E key, boys and girls. I am the master repairer. We're using some super oil, a, a lug wrench or two, and it's, it's well good. Well done. I see you're doing great. Hey, try not to die while you're attaching the wires to the actuator uh, 100 meters above the ground. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Try not to die. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to do this in real life. Sorry. Okay. Oh, oh, I can push the little car around? Really? That's the thing that I... Oh, did I... I dropped it, didn't I? Dang it. 
Well, you know what? That didn't work at all how I planned either. Don't worry. We're gonna get this junk going. It's gonna happen. Yeah! Ha! We don't even care. Bring it on. There's the handbrake. Yep, look at that. See? Efficiency, folks. Saving our energy. Oh, God, we're gonna die. Okay, we didn't die. Stay what? Stop doing annoying things. Gimme. Alright. Eh. Alright, we're just gonna casually walk up this very, 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 very uh, rickety staircase. It's probably not very rickety, actually. I wanna go over this side. This is like a small aircraft carrier. Maybe even a large aircraft carrier. Like, this is actually a thing that people use, and they can move around with this thing? That's crazy. Huh. This does not seem to be the place that I wanted to go. Can I go inside this thing? Nope. Boy, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Let's try not to die here. Can I crouch? Nope. Well, that sucks. This was not the right way to go. Dang it. I feel like I got cheated here. Oh, there we go. Yeah! Nailed it! Not, not really. Alright, so now we're over here. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Because why not, right? I don't think I'd want to do this, like, ever. Like, even without the cable. Like, the cable's just, like, icing on the cake to make you super, extremely nervous. We are really climbing up this thing quickly. Now, part of me wants to jump off the top of this thing and see if we can, like, land via a bale of hay, uh, a, la, a, la, a la Assassin's Creed style. Gosh. Words, guys and gals. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. So... Fits like a glove. Uh-huh. Our next step requires starting the electromechanical transformers. Go to the main platform and turn them on. Okay. Uh, how do I get back on the ladder? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh my, how do I get back on the ladder, man? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Because some games, you know, you, you, they require you to press a button, some you just walk across, some, I don't know. They just hate you and they just plummet you down. Could I, could I slide down the ladder? Is that a thing we could do? Because that could be fun. Like, this is freaking massive! Oh my goodness. Also, you probably don't want to spin around while you're on a ladder like that. It's probably a little disconcerting when you do such things. Like, wait a minute, what did I just do? Huh? How did that happen? I'm still alive, how? What? No. 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 Onto the ground. Good boy. So there's a ladder down here somewhere, right? Yep. Alright, look at the, uh, the litter, guys and gals. It's fine. Go, my actuators! Rise! Rise! I command you. Okay, that's cool. Now this giant requires proper cooling. Turn on the two main fans using the lever on the back bridge. You, you couldn't like just wire a switch here that I could press that would, no? Okay. Because of reasons. Whatever, buddy. Can't go that way. Of course not. That would be too easy. <laughs> It's fine. All right, let's get over here. Just gonna casually uh, do a complete and total safe move there, because it just feels right. And ta-da! There's that switch that we were looking at earlier. There's one, and there is number two. Now what? All systems are up and running. Go to the driver's cabin, start the bucket wheel excavator, and take it to the silicone excavation site. Boy, does that not sound like that's going to be a fast endeavor. 
Where, where's the, the, the driver thing? Huh. Okay. Come on. You can do it. Oh, God in heaven. Alright, we're fine. Aha! So what, we open this door? Yeah, we do. Oh, snippity snap. Alright, what are we doing? What, what, what do I... Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, the engine started. Oh, we can release the handbrake. Yes, we are moving super fast, ladies and gentlemen. It is absurdly fast. How... Wow, this is not... Not very quick. Not gonna lie. Are there other controls? Is there like a jet engine uh, boost? I imagine this would be a really, really, really slow machine to move. I wonder if this is air conditioned in here. I'd hope so. Let's see. Channel. Fesh? Fresh? Uh, Leviath something. Dark Violet Sky. Apparently I'm getting blind to my old age. It looks like Levi Hicka is what it looks like to me, but I don't know. Hey, we're almost there. We'll have to park over in this spot. Which I think we're getting pretty close to. We're moving at a whole two point, almost three kilometers per hour. I mean, it's mildly impressive. And by mildly impressive, I mean not that at all. That is super absurdly, insanely, ridiculously slow. But you know what? That's okay. So how do they get stuff like this out to places? Because there's no way they're like, hey, we have one of these in Chicago. Let's fly it or let's uh, let's drive it over to like uh, Miami. Because I can't imagine there's like a whole bunch of these everywhere. I, maybe each state has one or something, but I don't know. Uh, still, I can't fathom like somebody actually driving this thing any anywhere. It would take years for this to like cross the U.S. for instance. Or across Canada. Oh my god, we're gonna go. Th we only had to go 90 meters. And it's taken us almost, what, two and a half minutes? It's okay. Gives you a taste of uh, a little bit of realism here. I'm curious to see what the kind of uh, apparatus they have. I'm sure there's tank treads that are actually moving us. I guess we park now. Did I do what I was supposed to do? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. It's not even that. It's not even that fast. Six, five, four. Is that it? Do we need to go to the left? Oh, no. Oh, do we need to go to the right? I don't know what's happening. Oh, we're backing up. Let's see what happens here. Six meters. We're backing up at seven. Like, how is this possible? All right. I'm going to say that we did our job. We're going to have to go look to see what, what's wrong with it right now, but I feel like we, we did our job. Like, uh, do we just need to move fur further forward? Is that what's going on here? Oh, we're kind of outside on this, uh... Okay, so we gotta move to the right. Oh god. That's like in the mountain over there. Jeez. Alright, so we need to move it over to the right. <laughs> Dear lord. This thing's absurd. It's just telling me I gotta move forward, so. Yeah, we definitely didn't line up evenly. Bad bumpy is bad. Alright, let's get back up there. Oh man, run! Run like the wind! Alright. We 
we there? Do we clear it? Are we good? Is there a way to change uh, camera angles? Oh, we can do something with our different... Oh, those are radio stations. I'm like, wait a minute. Caesar... Oh! We actually can change our camera angle. Oh, that's creepy as all get out. Well, I guess we're going to try to back our way in so we're 100% in the square. I didn't realize that there was an external camera for this. That would make sense. And that would have made it a lot easier. I'm just like driving. I'm like, well, what, what, what are we looking at here? I mean, what's what's the end game? What's our what's our goal here? Well, I know now. I know exactly what our end game slash goal is. But that's fine. We'll get ourselves into position here soon enough. All right. I'm gonna kind of level out a little bit here. There are breakneck speeds that we have. They are quite good, I must admit. All right, so we need to head, we need to head to the right. If we stay within the parameters, we're gonna be looking pretty darn good. Gosh, could you imagine having to do this? Oh man, that is a, some serious, like serious movement stuff underneath. Look at look at those like what seven. Eight tank treads, or I'd say what six at least, if not more. Good work. Yeah. We'll start mining tomorrow. Oh, good. My entire day consisted of just getting the thing running and into a uh, position. Cool. Next mission. Right. The bucket wheel excavator is operational now, so we can start extracting the silicone ore and filling our containers with it. Sounds like a plan, buddy. Start the whole truck and take it to the unloading site of the bucket wheel excavator. Remember to monitor the hydraulic pressure levels. Going over the allowed maximum value will result in an emergency shutdown of the machine. You'll have to exit the machine and reset the fuses. Well, that sounds bad. We certainly don't want to do that. Like, really, we really don't want to do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Please tell me we can drive this. Oh, you are the most evil, evil developers ever. Don't put a motorcycle in a game like this. After driving that horrible, horrible slow machine, you're going to show me a motorcycle that I can't drive? That's just cruel. That is cruel and unusual. Why do I hear running water? I'm not even sure where I need to go at this point. Park the haul truck. Okay, so we do have to actually go this way. That's what I figured, but I was looking, I'm like, I don't know. Imagine driving this beast around, this would be interesting. Should we take out like half of the the area like this is huge, it's so big it doesn't even fit on the road with half of the vehicle. A little bit absurd. Sorry, people. Get out of my whoa! It dug in a little bit there. Get out of my way! I'm coming down. Oh God! Oh God! Oh dear Lord in heaven! Ah. Ha! Ah. The mad skills. I can drive a very slow vehicle very slowly. I know, not a lot of people can handle that, but I am one of those people who can. Don't act like you're not impressed. Alright, well, I would say that we should go probably a different way, but I'm going to just go with my gut and say that this is going to be a terrible idea and I'm going to cry a lot if I crash into something. But, like a boss, I didn't actually crash into anything. yet. Uh, generally when I do play racing games for instance, I, I usually do prefer to uh, 
drive in third person view. I don't know why. I just do. I know a lot of people are like, that's blasphemy. You can't drive a racing game in third person view. You gotta be in the cockpit. You gotta be in the driver's seat. It's the only way to race. And I know a few folks who would agree with you. I just prefer it the other way. As sad as that is. Okay. Now we can start digging yeah. for real. Enter the operator cabin of the bucket wheel excavator and start the engine. There's no way this goes well. You know when you when you have the jeez. That's the Oh god, we're going to burst into flames and die exit. <laughs> Get out of here quick. Uh, you know when you have to climb a ladder to drive a vehicle just used to, like, move stuff? And it's like the quick and speedy version? That you're in for some seriously dark Juju Magumbo going on. Oh my god, there's so many more than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? There's eight? Jeez, eight plus however many in the back. Probably another four or six. a lot. There is a lot. Alright, so if I recall correctly, my operator bucket thingy is over here, but I actually don't think it is. Nope. It is not. Oh god, I'm gonna die! I died. Oh no! Oh, I hope we, we ro reload. Oh, okay. Woo! Well, I hope we reload from uh, getting this truck out here. As much fun as I had driving, that was, uh, <laughs> that was not the plan. The plummet to my own death there, that was, uh... I don't know, I think that would be kind of difficult to do. Like, you'd have to really be clumsy to just fall off. Granted, you probably wouldn't go a specific... You know, wouldn't do what I just did to get to the position where I was at anyway, so... The chance of you falling off in that situation, probably not super high, but you never know. How in the blue blazes do I get out there? Really? Oh my god. Yep, nope, don't sign me up for this job, ladies and gentlemen. There is no way. You know, it's probably like uh, 1 o'clock by now. Just getting a truck out here and getting yourself situated. Now it's like, alright, you get to dig for an hour and then, that, then you're done. That's it for the day. Day 3. <laughs> you slept in the truck and now... Oh my god. Oh, what am I going to do? This is not going to go well. I can almost guarantee you. Start the wheel and begin gathering the ore. But be careful now. To minimize ore loss, peel off relatively small layers of soil at a time. Because I know how to do that, right? Oh, boy. Rotate left, rotate right, jib up, jib down, wheel on wheel off all right I'm not gonna lie that's kind of cool what's up and down how do I get to go forward Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, alright. Yeah, we're getting some silicon, baby. What? This is weird. Alright, let's just keep our eye on stuff. That does not seem very useful. Oh, well, that's kind of useful. No way that would ever work. At the weird angles that they're showing us. Oh, well, we have 12. Whoa, that was some noise. What the heck was 
was that? Jump up, jump down. Alright, well, we're gonna dig in here again. So we can't dig out some more silicon. We gotta get a thousand tons? That is a lot of silicon. Alright though. We chunked out a pretty big portion of it, that's cool. So I can't remember, but I think there's like seven or nine, I don't remember the exact number, but different ginormous machines like this that we're gonna be using. I imagine the, the giant dumping truck is one of them as well. But there's a whole bunch and the, once you go through a single player campaign on um, pretty much getting everything we need to actually launch a spaceship, that's kind of the, the single player campaign. So it's kind of a cool concept, and it gives you well, uh, definitely a feel for how these big giant machines work. Maybe not 100%, but definitely get some feel for it. Because, uh, well, you have the noise, you have the really, really slow, methodical, just, it's, it's slow. It is slow, like really slow. You definitely feel the slowness. Do we know how much that we need to that we need to do? Do we have like a mission objective or something? Do we really have to get the thousand? Well I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the thousand, but I wanted to give you guys a, a good taste of exactly what it was that we were doing. I'm gonna to go to the outside here. Take a look. What exactly this is doing? Uh oh. We, we broke it. I broke it. I got a little bit too greedy there showing you guys what was what. I'm going to reload the last checkpoint, but... Start the wheel and begin... Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this first look. I hope you guys, uh, you guys really had some fun with it. I, I think the game's got a lot of potential to drive you insane to a degree. But I also think it's going to be quite a bit of fun, too. Um, I'm curious to see if we can actually get ourselves a, a space shuttle uh, up and running. We can launch it. I'm wondering of where we left our little, uh, our little, I don't know, our airport shuttle ship there. Or not ship, but our airport shuttle vehicle, the little towing thing. Because that was quite cool. Do we have, we have a zero. I wanted to see if we actually could see the silicon showing up inside the dump truck, but it doesn't look like that is a thing that we can do right now. I don't know if we can do some cool, like crazy, ninjetic, uh, moves up in this place or what. But I am curious. I would like to see if I can jump down into there. Yeah, no, it didn't let me. It's like, nope. Come on, man, jump up. No, it's not gonna let me. Ah, <gasps> it did. Yay! All right, guys and gals, I'm gonna go dump myself into the truck. Ugh. It's gonna hurt. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have killed me. Maybe broke a leg or two. All right, folks. Sorry, the music was getting a little loud on the uh, the death screen there once I fell into the the truck over there. Anyway, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, on the publisher, any of the wonderful fun stuff will be down below in the description of the video and various links. It can go all over the place to find out anything you could ever want to know about Giant Machines 2017. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And that's going to do it for this first look. Until the next first look or any other series that you guys decide to check out here at The Freak Show, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>